guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name's Kaylee, and I share loads of foodie bits um, for kids. So healthy, easy to make, inexpensive and fun. That's kind of what I try to share on my social media and on my blog. So if that's of interest to you, I will pop some links down below and you can go and check it out. Um, there's loads of recipes on my blog, so feel free to have a mooch. Um, I've got two children, Harry is four and Megan is two. I can hear Harry now, are you coming to say hello Harry? Hello! Oh. Hello! Hello, say hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> you also hug to mummy and daddy. That's very kind of you to say. Oh, he's a little charmer. Anyway, we have got some friends coming around, haven't we Harry? Come on, see what's going to tell us. Give me one minute and I'll come in, okay? We have got some friends coming around today. So my friend Charlotte, who I've known since high school, is coming around with two of her children and we thought we'd have a little play date and a bit of a picnic. It's raining, so it's gonna be an indoor picnic. But hey, British summer, it's just how it is, isn't it? And we'll have fun anyway. But we thought it might be fun if Charlotte made some bits for the picnic and I made some bits for the picnic and we filmed it all and shared it with you guys as well. So if you want to see what Charlotte's made, I will put a link in the description box below and you can head over and have a look at that. If you want to see what I'm making for the picnic, then keep watching. The first thing I made for the picnic was these tortilla crisps and they're really, really simple. You just need a tortilla wrap, some garlic granules and some olive oil. I decided to cut mine into fun jigsaw shapes, but obviously you could just cut them into triangles or squares or whatever shape you want to. Once they're cut out, you just get some olive oil and garlic granules, mix them together, and then you put your tortilla chips inside the olive mix. Make sure they're well coated, and once they are, you lay them out onto a baking tray so they're nice and evenly spread. Once you've done this, they're going to go under the grill for literally only two minutes on either side. Um, these cook really, really quickly, so you need to make sure you keep an eye on them because they do start to catch. And once they're done, they go nice and crispy, really, really tasty. And the kids love them because, especially if they're jigsaw shapes, you can piece them together and make a little puzzle out of them, which is quite fun as well. The next recipe that I made were these cheese and tomato mini omelettes. So really, really easy. Just crack your eggs into a bowl. I like to do mine into a jug because it just makes it easier when I'm pouring into the muffin cases. So bowl, jug, whatever works best for you. Whisk them up really, really well. And then you can always add some milk as well if you want to and season with some pepper. I don't add salt just because these are for the kids and obviously I don't want to add more salt to their food. Once you've mixed the egg, then chop your tomatoes and really simply just fill each muffin case with the egg mixture, cheese and tomato. Pop them in the oven for about 20 minutes at 180 degrees and they come out like this. Now after that I made some hummus, so chickpeas, tahini, lemon, garlic and a bit of olive oil. That was all I needed and really really simple just drain the chickpeas mm -hmm. pop them in a food processor with all the other ingredients and blend them that's pretty much it really i added more olive oil and more tahini to this um that you don't see in the video just because it was quite thick and it was still a little bit thick but i quite liked it um a little bit chunkier and the kids seemed to enjoy it so that's what matters um so yeah, just everything into a food processor, blitz it up, pop it in a bowl. It's so easy to make your own hummus, honestly, and it's really, really cheap as well. So I do like doing it when I've got the time. Once those were done, I thought about desserts and these fruit ones are just the easiest things ever to make. You just pop some blueberries on a kebab skewer, cut out a star of watermelon and pop it on the end and instant magic wands, really healthy, Really quick and easy, really, really fun. Love them. The last treat that I made were these frozen smoothie bites. And I made them in unicorn shapes because who doesn't love a unicorn? Um, 
this was really good because it used up a load of stuff that we had in the cupboard as you can see i didn't have a lot of yogurt left and i didn't have a lot of berries left so i thought that they'd be perfect for this recipe i just popped the berries the yogurt and some milk into the blender i forgot to add the honey that just kind of sweetens it up a little bit um and yeah blitz them all together pop them in some silicone molds and then put them in the freezer we love making these really regularly to use up any berries that would go off if we weren't to freeze them and they're just a really good alternative to ice pops and shop bought ice creams we got time on our side we're in a state of home i need you on my fire i want you to know that every time you're away i long for you so much i can find my way we got everything here at least to stay alive and the time that we share makes it all worthwhile got this place I saw you 